anything can happen in MMA. There are countless ways a fight can go, but they can't all be exciting. Who won this fight? Oh no, not the fans. <laughs> no, sorry folks. This is a list of high-profile fights that either bored fans into submission or displayed the technical proficiency of a drunken bar fight, maybe even worse. These are some of the worst fights in MMA. In a battle of two of the worst pseudonames in MMA, Kimbo Slice took on Dada 5000 at Bellator 149. You're looking at explosivity at its finest, aggression, throwing every punch with conviction back behind blunt force trauma. Both Kimbo and Dada come from a street fighting background, so fans weren't expecting the most technical fight, but they also weren't expecting this. But those who know the game technically know that there have been a million opportunities lost in this fight. Both fighters gassed almost immediately and looked as if they were throwing punches underwater. They're just flailing arm punches, nobody turning over a shot. Shockingly, and unfortunately, the fight continued for two more rounds. Both fighters needed to be helped off the stool to start round three. With only a minute and a half left of the fight, Kimbo managed to make some kind of offensive contact towards Dada 5000. Dada, who almost became the first MMA fighter to die of exhaustion, collapsed to the floor in bizarre fashion. I want to say it was punches, it could have just been fatigue. Kimbo was declared the winner via TKO, and Dada 5000 was hospitalized for two weeks after his heart stopped. He also suffered severe dehydration and kidney failure due to cutting 40 pounds to make the 265-pound weight limit. Dada was recently released from the hospital and has no plans to fight again. You're looking at explosivity at its finest, aggression, throwing every punch with conviction back behind blunt force trauma. Aliyev Mahmoud versus Kiyoshi Tamura wasn't only one of the worst fights ever, but also one of the strangest. Mahmoud, who comes from a wrestling background, kept hopping around as if he was having some type of seizure. What's with the jumping boss? What is he trying to uh, accomplish there? I don't know. Mahmoud eventually propelled his own groin into his opponent's knee. Oh, oh man, he caught him right in the pills. After taking a five-minute break, Mahmoud called off the fight, although no one seemed to notice or even care. He's going to quit. He's going to quit. It's over. He's getting a three-minute respite, so they're not calling the fight off just yet. Boss, do you know what a respite is, buddy? It's a three-minute break, I guess, because you said it two times now. Thank you. The fight was restarted, and Mahmoud continued to launch his body around the ring and even landed a decent punch at one point. Oh, nice left hand by Mahmoud! But Mahmoud quickly gassed and waved off the fight for the second time. He wants to say to the referee, he wants to tell the it's referee over. that he can't. It's over. He's... But yet again, no one seemed to notice, and the fight continued for a short time. Uh, interesting. Uh... Yeah. No, I don't. Yes, I won't. <laughs> Until he was eventually stopped out of sheer awkwardness alone. It's keeping his posture now. It could be. Uh, I don't understand this, boss. He's talking to well, him. Why isn't his corner turn throwing in the towel then if that's what he wants to do? We're halfway through round one. Right like there, finally, in. the corner throws in the towel. It was Aliyev Mahmoud's one and only MMA fight. Oh, oh man, he yeah. got him right into pills. Gabby Garcia is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion and training partner of Vanderlei Silva. She made her MMA debut at Ryzen on New Year's Eve, taking on professional wrestler Lady Tapa, who was also making her MMA debut. You want to really appreciate the size of both Gabby Garcia and Lady Tapa. Look at them next to John McCarthy, who is a giant in his own right. Garcia, who was promoted as a grappling world champion and sex symbol, trained for months at the highest level with former champions, then proceeded to throw all of it out the window when the bell rang. Both women began flailing their arms wildly, with Lady Tapa landing the harder punches in the beginning. Oh, nice big hand! Rock Gabby Garcia! Garcia recovered and accidentally landed a punch of her own. Oh! Garcia proceeded to use her black belt level jujitsu training to violently club Lady Tapa over the head until the referee stopped the fight. This needs to be stopped, and it is. While not a boring fight, the lack of skill being displayed on such a big stage makes this fight worth mentioning. Gabriel Gonzaga made his UFC debut in 2005 against Kevin Jordan. And, and he looks a little bit like he could be talking about the cheeseburger royale. You see a little <laughs> facial likeness there? Yeah, if I knew what you were talking about. 
Come on, Pulp Fiction? Oh, okay. Look to his hoop. Cheeseburger Royale. So you think he looks like Samuel Jackson? Yeah. And you know what they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? A Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. Are you one of those dudes who thinks all black people look like? <laughs> Come on, bro. What are you talking about? That guy just looking at you like Samuel Jackson. What do they call a whop? I don't know. I didn't go on a burger chain. Gonzaga looked impressive early in the fight, scoring a takedown and actively working for submissions. But both fighters gassed midway through the first round. After that, the most entertaining part of the fight was the commentary. Are they saying, what are they saying? Sounds like go home. Yeah, go home? It could be Rolo. Maybe it's a candy craving crowd tonight at the MGM. You wrote it down, say it. <laughs> Though I wouldn't call either one of these gentlemen no, that. Absolutely not. The fighters received multiple warnings from the referee. Rounds. People are stomping their hands on the ground. And here we go, an official admonishment. Then, just when it seemed all hope was lost. Oh! Jordan's out, Jordan's out. Oh, Jordan's big out. end for it by Gabriel. Wow, out of nowhere. Gonzaga went on to have a successful UFC career. Kevin Jordan has since retired and is currently working at a car wash. I can't believe this is the same car. Well, let's not start sucking each other's dicks quite yet. And a few honorable mentions. Nate Quarry was able to complete a half marathon during his fight with Caleb Starnes. Interesting technique by Quarry. Almost every Jake Shields fight. <sighs> Bellator is currently looking to sign these guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.